Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another ramble session where I like to ramble. Yes. Okay. So I hope y'all had a great weekend and uh, we had a very relaxing weekend. It was a very nice weekend. In fact, um, yeah. So welcome. If you're new here every Monday, I put out a ramble session and welcome back. If you're not new here, thank you for your support. Um, let me let me think now I just lost my train of thought which happens often yes so uh, every Monday I put out a, something called a ramble session which is the video you're watching and it's just where I basically ramble I talk about what's been going on in my life I talk about what's been going on this past week I talk about um, where I am journal wise I talk about anything craft wise that I'm doing or you know whatever um, yeah, so if you like that sort of thing, stick around. And if you don't, then don't stick around. <laughs> don't forget also that, you know, my channel is mostly comprised of journaling and um, my passion for journaling and my encouragement for everyone in the world to journal. Okay, that is mainly what my channel is about. And if you go to my main channel page, you will see a playlist button. So make sure that you click on that because it'll show you all the different videos that I have, that I produce, that I put out there. You know, some of them, of course, are ramble sessions on Monday, on Fridays. I do um, this, the Collage Weekly Planner by Marguerite Miller. And then throughout the week, I speckle in a few, you know, journal with me videos or um, glue booking videos or, you know, things like that. So, yeah, if you want to check out more of what my channel is about, go ahead and, and look at the playlist. So, anyway, thank you all for being here. Let's get on with it, okay? Um, okay, so this weekend... We didn't really do anything, you know, spectacular. I mean, well, it was spectacular, though, to me because I spent a lot of time with my husband, which was super nice. I have been filming some videos for you guys, which is also nice. Um, and then yesterday, right, that's why this picture's here, I went to go get my hair cut, all right? And I unfortunately cheated on <laughs> my regular hairdresser. And, you know, my husband was like, well, you know, maybe try someplace new or, you know, whatever. So I tried um, so this new place and yeah, okay, let me just tell you, I showed the hairdresser this picture, right? Which is a poor picture, but it's of my husband and I, okay? Here is the hair that I want, all right? <laughs> now, I have not had a haircut, can I tell you? This was many years ago, too. Look at my beautiful husband. Oh, he's so gorgeous. Um, I've not had a haircut probably for at least six months. So my hair was super long for me. I usually keep it very short. Um, and it was like down the nape of my neck. My bangs, if you want to call them bangs, were like down to my chin. I mean, it was, you know, yeah. I just have not had time to go get a haircut. So this coming weekend, Memorial Day weekend, we um, have the honor of attending my husband's sister's wedding. And so we're so excited, right? So my husband's like, are you going to get a haircut? <laughs> that was like his nice way of saying, please, please, dear, go get your haircut. So I take in this picture, right? And I'm like, I love, I loved my hair when it looked like this. I absolutely loved it. It's like spiky in the back. It's, you can't see the sides or the back, but it's like shaved in the back and shaved on the sides. But then I have like these long, you know, tufts, right? And so I showed the, the, you know, salon person the picture, right? And I showed her a video okay I had found a video on Instagram that showed a 360 of a woman who had very similar hair and I'm like okay can you do this yes I can do that okay very long story short I am now mostly bald okay <laughs> oh gosh now again not I I like short hair like I I don't really I prefer myself with short hair but like my hair could literally be like two to three inches longer all the way around. I was just like, oh my word, okay? I don't mind it so much, but I know it is not quite my, what my husband was looking for. So yeah, that was my experience yesterday. 
Oh my word. Okay, so there's that. There's the, the lowdown on the haircut, okay, which was like the hair chop, the hair shave, the hair, oh gosh, the no hair, okay? <laughs> oh dear me. Okay, so um, that was our weekend, but then we got home, we laid out by the pool, and it was just really nice spending time with him. We just you know, laid on the couch, binge watched some bones, which we've so, so much been enjoying. So anyhow, there are a few things that I've been working on this weekend, namely, obviously, my March and April book, Good Gravy Day, okay? We are almost done with the month of May, and I still have yet to complete my April book, okay? Oh my goodness, and yeah, so, um, I need to go in here, obviously look at my notes, figure out what the heck is going on. These are the last few pages of April. Will they get done? I don't know. Will they not get done? I don't know. Um, it really, it doesn't bother me, um, whether they get done or not. You know, I'm pretty much over April at this point, obviously, because we're almost done with May. Okay. Then this right here, I kind of, I changed the way that I did my books um, for May and June because originally, this is how I normally, well, this is how I, I used to do my books, right? I use altered composition books and I love them, okay? I love, there are so many things that I love about a composition book. Um, and so I really do enjoy using them. Now, the only thing is, is like when I used to do my pages like this in a book called a Fobonichi years ago, um, I would glue three pages together. Okay. And then when I, you know, went to go do May's book, I was like, oh my gosh, I do not have time to glue all these pages together. Even though I absolutely love how they come out. I really, really do. I decided to do something a little bit different, which was use a composition book, but take out the innards. And what I ended up doing was putting in um, just an old book that I have, a vintage knitting book. I cut down the pages to size and um, I sewed in two signatures, one for May, one for June. And these pages are really, you know, they're nice and thick and all of that. And I love it. And um, yeah, the, I mean, literally the only problem that I have right now with journaling is that I am not making the time to journal. Okay. So let me repeat that. I am not making the time. All right. It is not that I, it is not that I do not have the time. I do have the time. Um, but I am not making myself, you know, come in here and, and making the time to journal. So therefore I am quite behind. Okay. So um, yesterday when I was in here filming some, look at these, oh, this was teacher appreciation week. Um, when I was in here doing some of these pages and prepping them and all that kind of stuff, um, I did bring, I think, uh, yeah, there'll be a journal with me video coming up on maybe some of these, but, um, yeah. And when we went to the last weekend, we went to the Van Gogh exhibit and it was wonderful and and all that so yeah i've i've begun like kind of prepping some of these pages um with some stuff uh of course i always tack in some of the things that you know that uh, are pertinent to the day some things have a lot some things have a little you know so i some things are you know all but done so yeah, I just, you know, I do what I can when I can, and I cannot stress that enough, you know, do what you can when you can. And I have really been enjoying um, Allison's from AJ's Inspired Life. I've so much been enjoying her videos. I Every time I see one pop up, I get on it, and it's usually in the afternoon when I get home from work. <laughs> um, yeah, I plop myself in front of the computer, and I'm like, oh, Allison has a video up. I'm going to watch it. And I love how she says that she's not behind, she's just not current, okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I love that. If you have not subscribed to her, please go and do that. Um, <clears throat> so, excuse me. Yeah, so that's where we are on the journaling front. And um, yeah, I am hopefully going to work on these pages today. Oh my gosh, I just can't stand looking at them anymore, honestly. But 
Um, I need to clean my desk off because it's a complete disaster. And I think I'm going to try to do that while I'm chatting with you. This picture right here. Oh my gosh. Like that is so how I wanted my hair. Ugh. Anyway, hair grows back. I'm not all that worried. Um, yeah, so this is the next thing I want to talk about. But at any rate, yeah, so I really just need to find the time. And yes, or I need to, no, I don't need to find the time. I need to make the time. There is a big difference there. There's a big difference. Um, and I just have not been making the time, okay? Uh, and... My desk is a mess. That's another thing that kind of drives me insane. Again, I have, I just have not been making the time to clean it up and get everything situated. Oh, gosh, I know y'all are with me on this. I mean, those of you who craft and journal and, and all that stuff, you know, I know that you are, these are like business cards and whatnot that I can use in Marguerite Miller's thing when she asked for a business card. So that's going in her box. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you are with me when you, you know, when it's like, gee whiz, everything's a mess and I can't even focus or function or anything, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that's where I'm at today. I'm just like all over the place and yeah, but life of a crafter, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just like picking things here and there, this cute little teacher washi, um, to put away because I have not been good about putting away my stuff when I'm done with it. Um, this right here. Okay, so we have a teacher who is, in fact, it's my daughter's co-teacher. Um, and my daughter asked me to make this for her she is retiring this year okay and so my daughter found this on I need to change I need to do something here maybe use like a a paint pen or something I don't know but um she asked me to do this for her um as a gift you know from the class so what I did was I had all the kids, well, I did this out, right? It's like a dandelion with little, the seeds are floating hearts. And I did that with the hearts with the echo line, um, paint brush pens right here. Here it is right here with this, right? And it's so super simple. Like you just take it. I don't even know if you can see this, but just in case you want to learn how to do a heart, you just take it and you hold it like this with the point at you and then you put the point down on the paper and then you mush it down and then you lift it up and there is a teardrop, right? And then you go to the other side and you do the same thing and there you have a heart, okay? <laughs> so there's a little tip for you if you have brush pens and you want to make a heart. And then what I did was I took the kids aside secretly when I took them out to recess and I had them all put their uh, fingerprint right on paper. And then I'm just going to punch a heart out and then each of these hearts are going to get glued on to these blank stems, right? Where, wherever they need to go, right? They're gonna get glued on and then I'm going to finish the lettering on this, yeah. And then one of the parents is getting a frame and all of that. So I've been trying to work on this. I have two weeks to get it done. Probably less than two weeks. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So I've been trying to do that. Um, let's see what else we have here that we can kind of straighten up and figure out what goes where. Um, and then I have, like, look at all this stuff. Like, it's just, it is, it's just ridiculous, guys. Totally ridiculous. So, um, yes, we have two more weeks of school left, all right? Can you believe it? Look at all this stuff. This is all stuff that's just, like, laying around my desk, all right? Laying around my desk. All right. We're going get, to get to this in a second because um, I want to, I just really need to put it away. Um, yeah, so we have two weeks of school left. Unbelievable, okay? And then next week... 
I have, um, these need to go somewhere. I think I'm gonna take these to school because in the classroom, there is a whiteboard that is magnetic. And yeah, these are all faith-based and they're super pretty. I got them at Teacher Appreciation Week. So I think I'm gonna take these to school um, or put them in a pile for things to take to school next year, which brings me around to another something, which is, um, y'all know that I've been recently struggling a lot with my decision on whether or not to, um, work next year with my daughter. Okay. Look at these cute little things. They're from Nightingale Paper Company and it's, and they're sunburnt. So adorable. Okay. And I used one for when my son got sunburned and these came from my sweet friend Lynn at Love Lynn's Life. <clears throat> so excuse me, I'll put that, um, you know, I'll put her link below, but I want to put those in my sticker thing over there. Um, this thing is super duper cute, um, but I don't need the pen on there. So I'm going to put the pen somewhere else, but keep this. These are just, look at all those fun colors, just cute little journaling spots, tags, whatever. So I need to put those somewhere. I'm not really sure yet. Oh yes. Okay. Back to the whole school thing. Okay. So last week, let me just tell you, well, for a few weeks, I've been struggling a lot with, should I teach it or not? Te I'm not a teacher. I, I mean, okay, let me back up. In case you're new here, I, uh, am my daughter's, um, what's it called? A teacher's assistant, okay, for her fifth grade class. And basically what I do is I, um, I, I do the thing, I do whatever I can to help her out, okay? <laughs> That's basically it. If the kids need to go to recess, I take them to recess. If they need to work on a project, I help them work on a project. If she needs worksheets, I go photocopy worksheets. If she needs, you know, what, whatever. Whatever she needs to make her life easier. The only difference is, is that this year, um, I am a teacher assistant for two different classes for both of the fifth grade. So my time is very much separated and it's, it's really difficult. It makes for busy days, which are great, but it, you know, it's really difficult when I'm trying to sit there with a student and individually work on something. Um, and then the other teacher might come in or my daughter might come in and say, Hey, I need you over here. And so I have to stop you know, my individual instruction time with a student who really, really needs it to go do whatever I need to do. Anyway, I don't know why I just told you that. That's just part of my job. So these things I love to use when I have um, video calls, okay, which one of them I'm going to use uh, because guess what, guys? Later today, and I don't even know what today is, Okay, isn't that cute? Stinking cute. Okay, Thursday, Friday, Sunday the 23rd. That's what today is. So I'm putting this on here on this page because, excuse the reach, I'm having a video call with my dear friends um, and it is so hard to coordinate. This is off the topic of my teaching or my teacher assistant, whatever, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, I'm having a video call today, this afternoon, and I cannot wait. And it is with my dear crafty journaling friends, Allison from AJ's Inspired Life, um, Loveland's Life, and Holly from Journal with Dolly. And it is so hard to coordinate because we are literally in three different countries and um, four different time zones. So <laughs> it takes a little bit of finagling, but we're gonna get it done today and I am so excited. Okay, I don't know that I need these Harry Potter things because we haven't been watching the rest of those lately. So anyway, back to teaching, right? So I had been wrestling with um, whether or not I was going, oh, I need to save that. This is like, we had to, I don't know if I told you, but I had like these printer cartridges, right? And my printer wasn't working and I was so frustrated. Turned out I had bum printer cartridges. They were brand new, but obviously something went awry with them. And so I had to send them back and get new ones and blah, blah, blah. And now my printer's working fine. 
So yay for that. Um, okay, back to the whole school thing. All right. Um, so I'd really been struggling and I love what Allison says about like making decisions. Like if it isn't a heck yeah, it's a no. Right. And so I was really struggling with that. And even in fact, on Monday of, you know, last Monday, I was, I went into work and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if they call me in for my evaluation and ask me if I, you know, want a job or whatever, I'm going to like definitely say no. Like, yeah. Um, I was just like, yeah, I, I'm, I, I don't, it's not that I don't want to do it. It's, I don't know. It's, it's very complicated. The whole situation is very complicated. Um, and it is very complicated because it is, I just emptied my little, my little garbage box here, which again, an idea from Allison, love it. Um, yeah, so anyway, okay, long story short, long story short, okay? My daughter came home like, I don't know, one time this past week and she was like, oh, you know, guess what? She's like, you're the only, you, me, and so-and-so are the only people that know. And, um, she was like, you know, so-and-so's room that you love so much because it's so big and you know, whatever. Oh, well, let me backtrack a little bit. Okay. So, so far there's only going to be one fifth grade class next year, not two. Um, so far my daughter will have 22 students. Um, they cap it at 24 and once they get 24, then they will split the class if they have to. Um, but so far, there's only going to be one teacher, which is fabulous because it is super hard as a teacher's assistant to like literally do the work of two people, you know, all day long. It's, it's really, it's like, it's stressful, it's busy and somebody somewhere always loses out, you know, whether it's the student, unfortunately, or the teacher, you know, somebody always loses out because like, I can't be in two places at one time, right? Here are the beautiful Van Gogh, um, postcards that I got from last weekend. Uh, so my daughter was like, Oh, you know, they're only going to have, um, you know, one class, blah, blah, blah. And they were supposed to get a new building built this summer that is not going to be done in time. So, unfortunately, so then my daughter said, oh, but guess what? You know, you know, so-and-so's class that you love so much because it's so big. These were her words. That is going to be our class, okay? <laughs> and though that word right there, our, all right, like just struck me and I'm sorry if this is super glary. It just, you know, it struck me and I was like, okay, so she's referring to the classroom as our classroom. Okay. And right at that moment, I said, Elizabeth, well, you're going to be working next year because your daughter wants you to be there and wants you to help her. And, um, yeah, how can I say no to that? You know, how can I say no to that? And I have said it before in the past, very negatively, I might add, and I, I, you know, agree with that statement, how much I loathe. I have used that term. <laughs> I've probably used worse terms working. Okay. How much I loathe working now there to me, there's a big difference to maybe some of you. There's not, I do not like being on a schedule. I do not like, um, having like having to do things you know I like it to be my choice so that's what I mean when I say I do not like working however I absolutely love what I do I absolutely love it you know I love working with kids especially here are these things that I'm gonna make into ruffles so maybe I just need to put this by my sewing machine um yeah so uh, it's just yeah, I was really struggling with it. Have to tell you now, I am struggling no longer um, because we are going to be working together next year. So I am super excited about it. In fact, last night I had such a hard time sleeping because I was up watching a bunch of um, 
there's a YouTube, she also has a podcast, it's called Co uh, Cult of Pedagogy. And, um, and I was watching her, some of her podcasts, reading some of her articles, and they were super great. And just strategies on different things, you know, classroom management, yada, yada, yada. And so, yeah, so I was up watching a bunch of that. You know, my daughter's super excited about how we're going to decorate the room and how we're going to do all that. But this summer, I really want the both of us to focus on lesson planning and what projects we're going to do and setting up a the a year's calendar as to this is when we're going to, you know, do this project during this unit study. And therefore, we need to plan two weeks ahead of time to start getting materials for the project, all that kind of stuff. Like basically just getting a lot more organized, you know? And so, yeah, I, now I said this last year when I accepted the position that I'm in now, oh, I'm just going to do it for one year. And again, I'm saying that very same thing. Yes. Yet again, I'm saying that very same thing and saying, I'm going to do this for one year. Okay, and then I'm going to reevaluate, right? I think it's important to do that, you know, like just do it for a time and then reevaluate, you know? So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Think happy thoughts. Yes. So there's the work front, okay? Uh, there is the work front. Why do I still have this? Okay, this is going to be sent to somebody just because she's hilarious. Um, so I'm putting that in her pile. That's another thing, guys. Oh, my word. I have so many. Um, okay, this was my, my list from last week. Um, I have so much happy mail to send out. Like, it's in piles all, all around my room. It is not going to be done until I get off work in the summer. Yeah, I just, I know. I just don't, I, yeah, I just don't have the time right at the moment to go to the post office, even though it is literally just about across the street from the school but I just yeah I don't have time to do it right at the moment but it will hopefully get done so here's a bunch of stickers that I just need to use up um yeah that I just keep in my sticker thing um so yeah that that's it on the school front I it turns out now here's the funny part too they haven't called me in for my evaluation yet. So I still don't know if they're gonna offer me the job or not. If they offer me the job, then I will take it. If they don't, obviously I won't, which, you know, I won't, my feelings won't be hurt either way. <laughs> It'll be fine. So all these stickers need to go in the sticker book or in the sticker box. Okay, own your time. Yes, okay, that needs to go up there. Isn't that a cute little thing there? Little scrap of paper that goes in the scrap bin. These are like um, notepads. Okay, so what else? Oh yeah, happy mail. Okay, <sighs> I had boxed up two medium-sized boxes for Defy, which is the Disabled Artist Foundation. Oh my gosh, they have not been sent out yet. They are sitting right over there on the floor. Yeah, I am terrible. I feel terrible, but like I said, I just have not had the time. We've had a lot of stuff going on. And in fact, including a lot of stuff going on, you know, like I said, school is ending very soon. We only have two more Mondays and then next week, which is our last week of school, my husband on the third has his surgery for his intrathecal pain pump. So yeah. It's kind of a big deal. Um, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm worried necessarily, but I mean, you know, aren't we all worried when our loved ones have surgery of any kind, you know? So yeah, there's that. Um, this is like my very messy book that I keep. It's like an ephemera holder that I kind of dig in when I'm, see, there's my things for Dubai, that I dig in when I'm doing my journaling. Um, and this can go in there as well. Uh, yeah, so he has his surgery coming up. Um, in the last week of school, we really just didn't have a choice. I mean, you know, when it comes to surgeries, I guess, I don't know. Nowadays, they just schedule it for you. So we don't really have a choice and like, well, I'm available on this day. You know what I'm saying? So unfortunately, 
yeah, we got to do it when, when they're doing it. And so we've got that coming up. So yes, again, I know I ask you for your prayers and I do so with confidence that, um, you will pray, <laughs> you know? So yes, I'm asking for your prayers for my husband and his upcoming surgery. Sorry for the reach again. Yeah. Um, so he's going to be out of commission, <clears throat> excuse me, for, <clears throat> excuse me again, for a few weeks and whatnot. Um, afterwards, I really, I have no idea what to expect. He has no idea what to expect. We have no idea what to expect. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes, but that's coming up and it's just going to be a rush to the end of this, of the school year. We have projects we need to finish up. We have, you know, I still have my evaluation to get through, um, all of that stuff. So that's, what's been going on here. That's what's been going on. I did, you know, I did clean some of my desks, so that's good. Here's another box that I have uh, for trash. It's an origami box and it's just, they're so fun. I'm just showing this to you. Let me dump it first. I learned this from, again, like I told you from Allison, this is like one of my to go ones. Okay. And which I don't need to go anymore because I'm not really going anywhere. Um, and taking art supplies. But anyway, when you open it up like this, you can just set it on your desk. And I have this one that's made a little bit out of a little bit more sturdy paper. And you can just put it on your desk so when you're chopping up little things or, you know, like this right here, you know, you've got some words that you wanna cut and you don't want little bits of paper flying all over your desk because your desk is messy enough as it is. Um, they go right in there and it's super easy and it just sits on your desk ready and waiting for you to fill it up with your little bits. Okay. So there's that. Um, yeah, so that's about all I have to share with you. Um, yeah, I need to film my creative weekly planner video week 22 for this coming Friday because lately I've been off the ball on that as well. So I need to get back on and film today when I should be filming. Um, yeah. What time is it? Oh dear. Yeah. I need to go because guess what? It's almost time to call grandma. So thank you so much. I know this was a long yappy one, but I thank you for sharing your time with me. As always, if you want to see more of like what I do, you know, um, and to have a look inside, you know, my journals, sorry if there's a horrible glare, then go ahead and check out those playlists. Of course there's a horrible glare. Why wouldn't there be? Um, yeah, go ahead and check out those, the playlists that I have. It'll show you, you know, all of the different things that I do. Uh, and you could take a walk through all of my journals if you so desire. So yes, again, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all your prayers and your well wishes. I so appreciate those. And yeah, just thank you for your support and encouragement in general. So, um, yeah, that's it. I really hope you have a great rest of your week and a great day and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.